The price of West Texas Intermediate crude oil reached a three-year low today, tumbling to U.S. $75.84 a barrel. It is the lowest oil has reached since 2011, raising fresh concerns about revenue projections. Crude prices have been hovering below $80 U.S. dollars in the last week. So should we be worried at this stage, especially since the 2015 budget is based on an $80 U.S. dollar oil price? Analysts at investment bank Goldman Sachs are forecasting that it could drop as low as U.S. $70 by early next year. But Finance Minister Larry Hawa is tonight assuring that once the price of gas remains high, it will offset the potential revenue shortfall. He tells CNC3 that WTI crude oil had an average cost of U.S. $85 for October. Now he says if the dip in the oil price is short term, there will be no need for the government to take any action. On the other hand, Minister Hawaii says, quote, should the lower than budgeted figure persist for an extended period of time, then the government would need to make some adjustments. At this stage, there is no need for any changes and no specific recommendations have been taken to cabinet. The TNT Chamber of Industry and Commerce does not agree. In any government, and I would trust that Minister Hawaii coming from the banking sector as he did, would be conservative and would understand the threat to the economy if the expenditure continues at the way it has been. And again, I keep saying expenditure without ensuring we get full value for money. CEO Catherine Kumar says the government needs to urgently control its expenditure. All we can do at this point in time is through our various means caution the government to be very careful about the expenditure as we continue to meet with various ministers. Again, raise that caution because we cannot really sit back and assume that everything else will be as stable as it is. The price of oil has fallen by more than 25 percent since June. For oil producing countries like TNT heading into an election year, the chamber CEO says this will require making tough decisions. Judy Kanhai, CNC3.